guests tonight are uh, talented, likable, and Oscar-nominated people. Together, they've been in more than 150 movies and TV shows, but now they join forces to save humanity from monsters in their Marvel movie debut, Eternals, opens in theaters November 5th. Please say hello to Salma Hayek and Kumail Nanjiani. <laughs> First of all, great job in the game. You guys were quite a duo, really. You have chemistry, you got the whole thing. Yeah. Thank you, it's not an easy game. No. No, <laughs> no. You know, I have um, a parrot actually called Yaya. Oh, really? And he doesn't speak much, but I understand him better than this Yaya. <laughs> <laughs> well, you seem to get en just enough to win the game, and uh, you did pretty well. Yaya's already forgotten both of your names, by the way. <laughs> yeah, he called me Kapoor, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Who was the first celebrity that you guys, before you were famous or um, before you come to Hollywood, saw, like, out in the wild. Now, you I'm not talking first. about, like, you a, go first. a movie What set. did you find in the wild? I found, it was my first time in L.A. I went to the Arclight Theater. That's where I met Yaya. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yep. <laughs> well, I saw Keanu Reeves there. Oh. Yeah, wow. and I remember thinking, his butt is really small. <laughs> It was so small and adorable. I was like, wow, Keanu Reeves has a little butt. <laughs> <laughs> Magic of Hollywood. <laughs> and Salma, how about you? Oh, um, I remember one time I was in a restaurant and Stevie Wonder walked in. I'm a huge fan. I mean, I'm a huge fan. I never go up to people, but this time I went and I went across the room and I said, Mr. Stevie Wonder, my name is Salma Hayek, and I was already, I had done a couple of movies, and he said, I know who you are. And I said, I want you to know you're my hero, I'm a huge fan. And he said, very nice to meet you. And there was somebody with him. And so he reached out for my hand, but he was going straight for my boobs because he's blind, he cannot see. And the guy that was with him panicked and he said, she's short, she's short. <laughs> <laughs> and he reacted and I said, I'm not short, I'm kneeling. <laughs> oh, God. And that was the story. That's a good recovery. So he remembered me, yeah, but he was like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is a first Marvel movie for the two of you. I mean, which is obviously a, not just a big deal here in the United States. It's like big around the world. Like, are your families back home aware of this, and do they know what a big deal this is? Yeah, you're, how, how excited is your family? Honestly, the one that is the most excited is my husband. Oh, he is? Really? <laughs> yes, I think my mom... She's watching Korean telenovelas now. I don't know why she's Mexican. And for her, it's like, uh, it's a Marvel movie. A Marvel movie? Is it about architecture? I go, no, no! Marvel, I'm a superhero. And she's like, that's great, mijita. I'm glad, you know, she doesn't really follow the Marvel. Uh, my, father, my father's a little bit more into it. Okay. But uh, at least, uh, she does understand, though, the importance of being Latina, uh -huh. middle-aged, middle-aged woman, and still playing an action hero. That yeah. She was impressed. Good. She thought I was going to be the mother of the action hero, and I said, no, it's me. It's How you. About you what about you? My dad can't bring it up without crying, so <laughs> it's, like, really, really adorable. Yeah, it's so sweet. That's He'll just be on the sweet. phone. He's like, so we went to the movie theater today, um, and your poster, and, and then he, I'm like, it's okay, just send me the picture. It's a picture of him with like the Eternals poster, and it's just, it's like, I'm getting oh, emotional so... talking about it. It's so sweet. I know, like, I almost want to cry I know, about it he's too. so excited. Wow. They were, we're doing a screening in New York, and he was like, can I come? And I was like, yes, you can come, but then you have to buy a real ticket to, like, you don't have to go see it, but you have to buy a real ticket. And he's like, oh, don't worry. He has like a whole work crew going, and then a family crew going. He's so excited. My parents are coming in too. They are, yeah, they're yeah. coming special. Oh, it was, nice. It's opening in his birthday, 
and he thought I did it on purpose, my father. Oh, really? I'm like, yes, dad, yeah, happy birthday to you. You don't tell him otherwise, do you? <laughs> no, but he thought the premiere was the same day. He's very disappointed that it's before, because that was the party for him, but no. You had a celebrate. birthday last month and a little birthday party. How many people were at your birthday party? Okay, there was no birthday party. Okay. All of those people were crashers. Okay. I said, I don't want a birthday party this year. I had to work all day. 25 people that I told them there is no birthday party showed up anyway. <laughs> they thought, oh, she's going to be alone because it's the first birthday. I, I am not with my husband and my kids. Uh -huh. I was flying the next day because I had to work that day. And everybody felt sorry for my loneliness, so they just showed up at my house, you know, and before I knew it, 25 people. I mean, I had to send, bring some booze. I, I thank God, thank God there was a cake that my agent, my husband, sent me this coconut, these cakes that were great. There was a cake, and you have like a tradition. I, we talked about this once, uh, I think maybe after your here, 50th yes. birthday. And what is it called again, the tradition? Mordida, 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 mordida. mordida. You see, they know. This and is the power of Selma Hayek. Yes. She can get them to chant something that they don't know what it is. Yeah. Only you so, can do that. Mordida <laughs> is when they push your head in the cake. Right, after you blow the candles, you have to, mordida means a bite. You have to bite the cake with your mouth without your hands holding or anything. And then there's always one that comes and hits you and sticks your face inside the cake. Wait, this so is... the tradition is when it's your birthday, the person whose birthday it is gets to take a bite out of the cake and then the other well, human beings part of the... have to eat that cake? Yes. <laughs> it's good to blow your nose before the mordida. Especially when these right. days. Mm -hmm. I know, I know, but that's the tradition. The extra is the, the pushing. And this time Angelina came. Angelina Jolie is yeah, in the movie with you guys. We were starting like Mordida, and she's like, what's happening? What's happening? It's a bunch of Mexicans. And she was next to you, so she's the one who has to push your head in the cake. Yeah, we told her that I was going to bite and that the tradition was this, and she said, no, no. Oh, no, I cannot do that. I can." She got over the note. She got over <laughs> the thing. And I just felt like, no, it's OK. It's OK. I just went like, boom! Look, watch her. OK. That was a very gentle push. I feel like you put your own head in the cake. <laughs> and one candle. Jamel, did you, would you, were you at the party? No, no I guess I was not one of their 25 <laughs> people. I mordida at home. Party. I mordida myself to sleep at home. <laughs> we're working out during the commercial break. Kamel now, Johnny, and Salma Hayek are here. Marvel's <laughs> Eternal is in that movie. We'll be right back. and Kamel Nanjiani are here with us. Kamel, what are your powers exactly? What was that? I shoot... I shoot <laughs> from my hands. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> 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 you got like, it's like a... Bigger guns. <laughs> yep. And so it was, I got to work and uh, I was like, so how do I shoot? And she, Chloe was like, Finger guns. I was like, Chloe, that's so goofy. She's like, no, it's got to be finger guns. She's like, I promise it'll look cool. And so I felt stupid for six months doing this every day. And then it looks pretty cool. Yeah. But I got to tell you something funny about that. Yes. He's a really hard worker. Mm -hmm. And he had to do... Um, sign language. Yeah, and, right, you have to learn sign language. Yeah, and there's a lot of things that he does with the hands. And then there was also some uh, Bollywood dancing number. And sometimes you would see him on his own going. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, 
<laughs> I help me because I also do something with the hands and he was quite graceful, you know? And he was like practicing, Sh should be like this or should be like this? <laughs> should be like this? Should be like, what do you think? Is this, is this better or is this better? And so he was all the time and, and I said, oh, are you doing your hands? He goes, no, I'm doing the, are you shooting? He goes, no, I'm doing my Bollywood number, <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't know if it was the Bollywood or sign language or, or coming up with different ways. And at the end, it was just like this. Uh, yep. But it worked. It's simple. <laughs> On his own. Yeah, you really have to be careful when you're dancing because you could kill somebody with those balls of energy. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, man, I got control. You have control. <laughs> this is Marvel. I know what I'm doing. Did you I ever no imagine idea. yourself doing a dance sequence? <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, so this is what happened. I talked, Chloe was like, we want you to do this movie, there's a Bollywood dance sequence, and I was like, okay, I don't know how to dance, so can we not Period. do that? <laughs> she's, she's right. <laughs> so but, Chloe was like, okay, we'll do a Bollywood action sequence. I was like, great. I got to London, and the first day I'm in London, she's like, by the way, I lied to you, it is a dance sequence. <laughs> And so I got a dance teacher and I learned for four months how to do this dance. And I have to say, I was very nervous for it. And Selma- He was so nervous. You really, really like, like sort of uh, gave me a lot of confidence. Like you would bring it up all the time and be I, like, you I gotta like, do it. Like his psychologist of the, of the, oh, I yeah. was. And he's like, but I just can't, I'm so bad. And you know what was really funny? I know him from before. And all of a sudden he showed up and he was like, Hot! Yeah. My God, the body! Like, wow! He was walking different, moving different. And, and I'm like, but you're a goofball. What happened to you? I want, I want those muscles. I'm like, let me touch it. They're still there, by the way. And, uh, and, and he was like looking really action hero. But when it was time to get on the horse or do the dance, it, we were back to all good. Kumail, like, oh my God, I cannot do this dance. How am I gonna pull it off, my well, sweet boy? Horses are scary. They, <laughs> have you seen their legs? There's so much he muscle. He was so funny. He was so funny. It's He's like, Sama, what do I do if it starts running? It won't. But what if it does? It won't. Just relax on it. But he's feeling my fear. Yes, just relax on it. But if it takes off, we're in a parking lot. Somebody's holding your horns by that thing. I was just like, having a horse is like driving a car that has its own brain. It's terrifying. You're just trying to convince it the whole time. You're not controlling the horse. You're like, you want to go right? No, okay, let's go where you want to go. Wait, 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 in between he says, you think I should pet him a little bit so he's nice to me? And I said, yeah, yeah, good idea. Are you sure what if he gets the wrong idea? It's just like caress the horse. Yeah, you helped me with that too. I took like horse riding lessons oh, and so well, funny. it all paid off so because funny. now not only are you in a Marvel movie, oh. you have action figures, and action yeah. figures are really the sign that you've made it. Sama, your your figure has two okay. like a spare head. No, come on, I'm creepy there. Come on, what can I mean? ask you something? Yes, yes. Give me this. Yes. Give me this. Yeah, look, there you go. look at it. Okay, am I like this? No. <laughs> Am I like this? No. No. No, the head, this head, look, maybe that's why they put an extra head. <laughs> I, know. I was gonna be like, you're exaggerating, and no. then I saw, I was like, no, you're like, you have like ET head. Yes. Yeah. And then there's like this strange coat, don't get me that's, started with that. Yeah, well. That's, that's what Stevie Wonder was going for. <laughs> <laughs> and look at you. Oh my oh, God. Look at you with your red. There you go. What Do you like this one better? Um, let me see. Oh my God, I don't know. Oh, man. that does look I like look you. So sad. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh dear. That, oh my God. <laughs> oh, look what he's doing. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Look what's going on over here. Yeah. Yo, like, wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, that's very mature, Jimmy. Keep I going. I hope your spouse is <laughs> keep doing it. <laughs> keep doing it. Well, it's very good to see you both. Congratulations Thank on um, on being Thank part you. of the. Can Marvel. I say this yeah. movie is really, really, really good? Oh, it's yeah. so, so good. Oh, yeah. It's a really good movie. Oh, yeah. Kamel risked his life to be in this movie. You do not want to miss this one. You do not want to miss this one. Kamel Nanjiani Eternals opens November 5th in theaters. We'll be back with Bleachers.
If you like that video, click subscribe, and we'll be together until one of us dies.